scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Keep praying. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to start tonight by appreciating us for the sacrifice of fasting. There is no gift of fasting. Hallelujah. There's no such thing in the Bible as the gift of fasting. Fasting has always been a sacrifice. So it's not, there's, there's no such, it's not, it's not, it's not anything unusual when you are tired. There is no gift of fasting. Fasting is not abstinence from food. Fasting is abstinence from food to seek the Lord. If you are not seeking the Lord, you are not fasting. Hallelujah. Most times, people just stay away from food and go around gisting, sleeping, gossiping, allowing the devil to use them. That's not fasting. Fasting is abstaining from food to seek. The seeking part is the difference between fasting and just maybe some sort of diet control or whatever it is. Are we together now? The idea is not to starve yourself. You see, you have to understand this. The idea is not starvation. It was on account of food a man gave away his destiny. He says, I prefer to eat than to have my destiny. What is it in my destiny? Let me exchange that destiny for food called Esau in the Bible he was not clothes he said I am so hungry to hell with my destiny bring me that pottage of red steel and his destiny went away many people laugh at Esau but that's what we do all our lives we allow food to take away the place of an encounter that can change your life forever there is no one on earth i know no one who truly works in authentic power with god who does not fast not just as a ritual what food is to your sustenance is what fasting is to your spiritual growth nobody outgrows food nobody you can't say i've been eating for 40 years are we together now so I need us to be at the same pace so that we don't think it's just a starvation. Remember in the book of Acts 23, don't turn there. There were certain people who went to consult diviners on what to do with Paul. And the Bible says they bound themselves with a curse. And they said we will neither eat nor drink until Paul dies. Fasting so that an anointed man of God can die. Are we together now so we need to understand that this that god is doing is to empower us so that we can rise in life it's a sacrifice that god has designed for our lifting even jesus himself fasted and jesus was teaching and say when you fast not if you fast and when god declares a corporate fast there are individual fasts but there is a corporate fast 
that is a commanded fast is this not the kind of fast i have commanded you can do the one you want to do but when god commands it is because there is something that he has in mind hallelujah god bless you please be seated for a while just pray one prayer lord jesus open my eyes open my eyes to the understanding of your word open my eyes please pray make sure you are praying open my eyes open my eyes oh oh chapter 19 tonight i'm sharing on the power of knowledge the power of knowledge luke chapter 19 in the new testament jesus cried twice the first reason why he cried listen carefully the first reason why jesus cried was when he was weeping at lazarus's grave and the bible records that oh how he loved him so love was one of the first reasons why jesus cried the second reason why he cried is found in luke chapter 19 from verse 41 luke chapter 19 luke chapter 19 blessed be the name of the lord luke chapter 19 verse 41 and when he was come near he beheld the city listen carefully and wept over it saying if thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto thy peace he says but they are hidden from thy eyes jesus stood over a city and was weeping he was watching the way the people were guessing their lives and jesus your jesus started crying and his reason for crying is that if you had known the things that are responsible for your peace responsible for your peace not just the, uh, the quietness responsible for your results jesus stood and was crying and his his purpose of crying was the ignorance of the people in that city and the inevitable fact that they would continue to be victims of that ignorance he says you do not know the things that belong for your peace he says but now they are hidden from your eyes meaning that although you are looking you cannot see them this kingdom we have been drumming it from day one of this fast that this kingdom is a kingdom of information is a kingdom of light dominion in this kingdom is a product of knowledge not desire knowledge not intention knowledge hallelujah dominion in this kingdom is not just based on knowledge but based on sufficient knowledge having knowledge is not enough when a student goes to write exams the student is not writing another subject if he gets seven over hundred is that true he failed 93 percent and passed seven percent but the seven percent is not enough to pass the student so having knowledge is not enough there is a level of knowledge it takes for dominion to be true if the light goes off right now and you light a matchbox it is light but it is not sufficient enough to turn the night in this auditorium today 
so saying you have knowledge is not enough the knowledge must be sufficient to a degree that can bring you the result you desire the problem for many of us is not necessarily ignorance it is insufficient knowledge is God speaking to us we need deep enough knowledge not just knowledge deep enough knowledge about finances deep enough knowledge about divine health deep enough knowledge about the anointing deep enough knowledge about church growth deep enough knowledge about increase having knowledge is not enough it is true that we know some things but the challenge is those things may not hold all the keys that are required to command the results that we desire let me show you a verse that i found very very interesting first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 this blessed me in no small way first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 it says and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to that means the proof that you are knowledgeable is that there is a desire in you for more that the moment there is a point in your life where you believe that you know enough the apostle is speaking that by the spirit that a sense of arrival and complacency is a symptom of insufficient knowledge Sinat sang that the more I know you, the more I want to know you. So when you encounter God, when you encounter the spirit of knowledge and revelation, the sign is that although you are working in great results, there remain a hunger in you for more. I am passionate about knowing the areas of ignorance in my life because there is so much I do not know. Are we together? Everything we desire in the kingdom is available. The grace of God has made it available. But it takes knowledge. Not just faith. Faith must be upon an, a person and an information that is correct. You can have faith in error. You can have faith in an information that is not correct. So it's not just having faith. The object of your faith must be authentic. You need a high level of insight and light. A high level of insight. A high level of light. Are we together? Scattered in this auditorium and all around and all those following us from the nations of the world. The reason, listen carefully. The reason why we have requests, why we have desires, is because there are expectations before us that are not yet our testimonies. There are expectations before us. There are things we desire. Some of you are here tonight trusting God for superior dimensions of the anointing. Some of you here are pastors. You are struggling with membership up today down tomorrow. And it's not that you are not anointed. But not to the degree to get the result you desire. There are people who are trusting God for certain levels of graces. But you see the thing is not just to say I have knowledge. Is it to the degree... That can give you the result i always liken knowledge i also liken the anointing to money if i want to take this this bottle of water and it is 100 naira if i have 70 naira i have money but not the value enough to purchase this this is what i am looking for so i must upgrade that value to the level that it can deliver this result are we together knowledge Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, the prophet of God was speaking by the spirit and he said, my people, he never said the hidden, my people, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Satan manipulated their understanding to make them see life from a perspective and the result of that aberration is the pain and the discomfort that they have. Knowledge. The Bible says, through knowledge shall the just be delivered. There is a relationship between knowledge and deliverance, not just prayer. I told you that not all spirits go by prayer. The Bible never said so. This kind 
there is a kind that goes by prayer there is a kind that goes by prayer and fasting there is a kind that goes by knowledge the devourer does not go by fasting the devourer does not go by knowledge the devourer goes by obedience to a obedience to a correct information are we together i believe in fasting i believe in prayer that's what we are doing now but i'll be lying to you many believers keep mocking themselves thinking just because you are praying and dissipating energy it will cover for every spiritual predicament no sir at best god will take advantage of your alignment in prayer to lead you back to an information that is able to help you in this kingdom we reign on the strength of the light that we have john chapter 1 and verse 5 says the light shineth in darkness the light shineth in darkness the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not for as long as it is night time in your life weeping continues the bible says weeping endureth for the night you don't stop crying just because you are tired of crying you stop crying because light enough to turn your nights today we are calling this place night now simply because something has happened to the sun it's in as much as we know and we are not able to receive that illumination sufficient enough to turn the night today but a few hours now into the morning everything is going to change we rise in this kingdom by light not desire i desire prosperity is not enough to give you i desire to walk in divine health i desire for that hepatitis to go i desire for that cancer to go i desire for that hiv that fibro to leave my body i desire for that barren womb to take in it takes knowledge it takes knowledge not just desire hallelujah you hear the testimonies of the people who god is granting them grace don't you think god just chose to bless them now it is now the knowledge has come to them and so it makes it look like this is the season god has wanted to bless you he's always wanted to do it but you only arise and shine when your light comes not when it's available it has always been available but the day it comes to you every lady's womb in this auditorium can take seed but it doesn't make you pregnant automatically the day a real seed enters that womb then the process of conception starts are we together but as you are now seated that womb can produce so it's not enough to just say i have potentials i know what can happen no if god wants to change your life he grants you knowledge every religion that oppresses men in the world thrives through mysticism and ignorance the strength of victimization and oppression is withholding classified information from people the difference between the intelligence unit of the american nation and other nations of the world is their access to classified information there is a kind of information that is not given to the third world nations to know it is only supplied to them if they go and plead with the intelligence unit and then they give them terms is that true as terrible as terrorism is on earth right from space there is a system of watching on earth real time but that information will not be given to you is the privilege of the holders of that information that's why they are called world powers they are not called world powers because they are bigger they are called world powers because they have access to classified information so we reign in this kingdom not just because of how macho we are not just because of how fluent we are but the access to the information the bible says jesus himself knew what to do that's dominion to know what to do good master what must i do to be saved in other words i want to be saved but it's not yet my experience and i know that the bridge between me and that result is knowledge good master what must i do not just that i desire to be saved good master what must i do to be blessed financially 
what must i do to be lifted what must i do to rise to a realm where my body no longer hosts sickness i shared with us a revelation i don't know which of the days that the bible says when a spirit leaves a man remember a spirit does not leave a man on his own it is casted is that true out of that person in my name ye shall cast out devils they don't want to go but an anointing compels them to leave and then the bible says they go through desert regions listen carefully and something about the desert does something to that spirit and without any prayer warrior praying the spirit leaves the desert and prefers to come back to the man hmm. the desert that something can happen in a desert no prayer meeting going on no fasting going on a spirit can be so uncomfortable in the desert and it will rather return back to the man that means there is something the body of man can become that can make spirits even without any man praying they will leave and that mystery you see in the desert is what the bible calls the mystery of fire this fire you see is a mystery there is something about the heat of the desert physically that does something to spirits and they prefer that's why when jesus casted them they entered the swine straight into the water straight into the water and the people drove me said leave this place when a spirit leaves a man there is something about the habitation of a mortal man that is conducive for a spirit and the moment it leaves it it goes through desert regions and something happens not compatible to their design and he says i have to leave this area of hostility so the bible says he maketh his angels winds and his ministers flames of fire that when a man becomes a flame of fire no spirit no charm no no cause by themselves you will have a dream and watch certain things leave you the first thing that happened to samson they bound his hand and the bible says when the hand of the lord came upon him suddenly heat from nowhere turned that thing the bible says it was like flax and all of a sudden he let it go are we together we must be deeply passionate about spiritual knowledge not useless knowledge there are all kinds of knowledge on earth occultism can give you knowledge about the spirit realm that's why jesus said i am the door the authorized system for routing this knowledge you can read all kinds of books online and that's why we have to be careful especially for we young people because in our appetite to chase knowledge we have found ourselves dappling into occultic there are books that moses wrote but those books are occultic books your real moses he wrote those books before he encountered god he wrote them as a very good student who was trained in egypt today they use those books for occultism he teaches you geometry how to align yourself to certain angles on the earth that will make you be in touch with the constellations moses taught it so when we talk of knowledge we are not just talking of a random pursuit of anything that is spiritual in this day and age where we measure respect for ministry by how much what we supposedly call depth we must be careful the proof of knowledge is the deliverance that it brings that's why many people keep growing supposedly in revelation and with all that rema the devil oppresses you as if that he's telling you i'm not aware whatever it is you are celebrating i'm not aware true knowledge liberates we pride ourselves with useless knowledge that is incapable of standing the test of time and bringing the victory that we desire stood over the city and wept and said you do not know the things that belong for your peace hallelujah let me show you something psalms 45 and verse 4 psalm 45 thank you jesus it says and in thy majesty right prosperously because of what 
truth not just meekness not just all of these things and thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things right prosperously not because of desire because of truth it says and ye shall know the truth and if it is really the truth you can know what you think is the truth you can know what a pastor tells you is the truth you can know what a denomination tells you is the truth but if it is really the truth the bible says it makes men free there are supposed truths in the body of christ that don't make men free ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth acquiring things that puff us up knowledge that puffs up doesn't heal doesn't deliver doesn't bless doesn't make people closer to god there is power in knowledge there is power in knowledge there is power when knowledge is applied we reign in this kingdom by the mysteries that we know but the manifestation the potency of those truths are brought to the scene when we act the first thing to do is to get knowledge not to act the first thing to do is to build conviction through the requisite knowledge that will bring you the result this bible you see is a compendium of all kinds of knowledge that scatter across different subject matters so the assignment of the believer is to walk as though you are walking through a garden and find the details that are responsible in this book is the knowledge that will take anybody from a failure to a success it's true in this book your assignment is to walk with the spirit of god are we together to be able to piece together all the required information not some not as much as you want all the required information in this world there is a system where men can walk in divine health it is true it is true now if your experience has not captured that reality it does not mean the word of god lied it is that you have not been able to construct in your spirit and your mind all the keys that are required to produce that outcome you can give me the ingredients to make fried rice and miss one important ingredient and what i will produce will not be called fried rice yes rice but not fried rice the difference between jollof rice and fried rice is combination rice is there in all of them are we together now yes there's a lot of ignorance in the body of christ there is a lot of cramming scripture there is a lot of quoting scripture there is a lot of devotionals there are a lot of translations of the bible there are so many books but there is very little knowledge that is required because if that knowledge translates to wisdom it will be justified by the children that it will produce hallelujah i don't want the kind of knowledge that puffs me up into pride you know knowledge can do something to you if you are not careful it can bring you to a sense of pride open to john chapter 4 verse you just ah he's going to verse 17 but the person who is talking there is not spiritual he's not god fearing he's under oppression he's sick as he's talking there and broke on top yet the person is telling you i know you are going to verse 17 that's ex the exact kind of knowledge Satan needs. So he, he deceives you into being convinced that you are also a colleague in the realm of results. Whereas your life is not producing anything. I know everything about getting people filled with the Holy Ghost. I can go to Acts chapter 1. Yes, I know Isaiah 28. I know Joel chapter 2. Here is a gentleman in need of the baptism. And you stand and struggle around there and create all kinds of flimsy excuses i know what the bible says concerning prosperity oh malachi chapter 3 bring ye all the tithes oh you know luke chapter 6 i know for my sake he became poor show me the result show me in your mind and show me in your life 
How God anointed Jesus. Is it that one? I know it. I, I can even tell you the amplified version. And we think that just because we gather those things, we have knowledge. No, sir. No, sir. We must be passionate about knowledge. Just because they made you a Bible study leader in your church does not mean you are knowledgeable. You are just the one who is representing the church and that's wonderful. Continue doing what you are doing but if it is results you are looking for, you have to go back. It's not a Bible study manual that makes you knowledgeable. Demons don't have respect for those things. I'm not against them but I'm saying much more than those things you have to go and sit down. Martha was running up and down. He said, Martha, Martha, you were worried and, and, and um, offended about many things. He said, one thing is needful, to sit down at the master's feet. Lord, what is this secret to favor? What is it? Not, I know there is favor. Most of the results we want, we believe it exists. But how to make it our experience is where the challenge is. And that's one of the benefits of fasting. Ultimately, your faith rises. But the Bible says, the kind of fast I have commanded, your light will break forth. There is something about the supremacy that your spirit man will gain over your flesh because your flesh has been starved of food. And the strength of the flesh is the availability of food. When the flesh is energetic, it runs around and plays games. But when there is the absence of food, it has a way of forcing suppression to your flesh. And then your spirit man can hear and understand. Then shall your light break forth. Shall your light break forth. And your health speedily. Your health, physical health. Hallelujah. Only if that our loved ones knew certain truths. Look at me. Look at all of us now in this place. Brothers and sisters, look at the knowledge that God has granted us access to. Imagine, what, have you had certain revelations and immediately you almost start crying because you wish somebody you love so much. Think how many times you watch sincere people, sincere Christians become victims of the oppression of darkness. Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. It takes knowledge to prosper. It doesn't just take God to prosper. It takes knowledge. It takes knowledge to walk in the anointing. There must be a desperate desire in your heart and my heart to pant after knowledge. To pant after truth. He said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house. I know that that place is Bethel, the place of bread, where there is knowledge. I'd rather be than to go around celebrating. Please hear me. Those who are standing by the roadside and inside all the overflows, right where you are standing, the difference between you and any man you admire, whether in business, in ministry, in, 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 in finances, family life, whatever it is, is knowledge. When a man fights with his wife and beats his wife, it's not just the presence of demons. The demons don't just act anyhow. The demons take advantage of the ignorance. Are we together? Demons don't just act. They don't just veto your will and act. They take advantage of the gap in knowledge or the incompleteness of your knowledge. And then they take advantage of it. It is more dangerous to have incomplete knowledge. It's better to have complete ignorance. Because the days of our ignorance, God overlooks. God can overlook certain things. Like you see a little child doing certain things. And you are aware that that child does not have an ability to have that knowledge at that level. And so you forbear. If a small child comes and is rolling here now and playing around, we may just guide the child in love, but not to flog the child. Because at that level, we expect that to happen. But if as an adult, you come and you are doing it, we will first find out whether it's the Holy Ghost making you do it. And if we find out it's not the one, we will send you away. And we'll say, no, 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 you don't do this. There is order in the house of God. Are we together? Mm. If you say you have been born again, that you are in Christ, you have access to the Spirit of God, 
then certain things should be seen in your life that validates the fact that you are walking with the word that validates the fact that you are not just reading your bible in the morning just as a ritual to say be a witness you see me doing my devotion today that's not knowledge it can be religion in fact most times it is religion open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things open down my eyes open down my eyes he said call on to me and i will answer and i will show you not tell you show you great and mighty things that you do not know great and mighty things great and mighty dimensions of the anointing that you do not know great and mighty dimensions of influence that you do not know let me tell you this anybody in your life you see with sustainable results in any area do not make a mistake of thinking it is luck are we together no there is no luck in this equation when you see a mother train 11 children and for 30 years those children have remained in a way a manner that even shocks you don't just say Kai, madam you are lucky or what kind of anointing is on you no it's not just the anointing god can give you the same anointing on that woman and you won't be able to train one child with it that anointing functions well through knowledge knowledge gives the anointing efficiency knowledge gives the anointing efficiency the anointing does not just work anyhow knowledge gives the anointing efficiency otherwise there would not be need for the renewal of the mind knowledge gives the anointing efficiency you are still anointed but he said let this mind be in you which was in christ jesus hallelujah have you seen a man maybe an old elderly man that didn't have the privilege to go to school didn't have the privilege to learn english but a greatly anointed man you can see that that man utilized less than on a scale of one to ten less than four of that anointing take that same anointing don't change it the same anointing put it on another young man who is more knowledgeable and more vast in scripture that's when you will see the true potential of what that anointing could do that means that old man's lack of knowledge limited the operation of the anointing that's what happened to some of our parents the old people who were prophets they loved god they had dangerous prophetic graces but there was no accurate understanding of the word so the dispensing of their prophetic looks so limited but then you take the same prophetic anointing and you put on someone who is mighty in scripture and you see the kind of miracles and deliverances that will come for people knowledge is important in this kingdom you pay for your ignorance it will not be paid for you will pay for it in this kingdom you will pay for your ignorance you will pay for it in sickness you will pay for it in untimely death you will pay for it in lack of joy you will pay for it in sorrow you will pay for it in all kinds of diseases darkness continues to multiply but it takes those who have light light sufficient to keep the kind of results they desire is god speaking to us we are going to pray but the cry is for knowledge for knowledge for knowledge for knowledge lord give me knowledge why is our family like this we are 20 in the, the entire family but nobody rises you know i watch how i talk to people many times sometimes here on the queue and then around as i travel and they meet me and communicate certain challenges and in all honesty and with all humility i know what they are doing wrong that is responsible for that and i know what they need to do to get the result and then they say apostle pray for me i know just a touch from you as soon as you touch me everything will go and it is true that they can get some measure of results but ultimately they need to sit down and that spiritual laziness they just say that's why we love the prophetic so much not necessarily because we appreciate it that is from god it looks like an easy remedy and an alternative to sitting down and knowing god 
so we love it just tell me this business trip will i make it or not i don't want to hear any story though no, i don't need to learn how to talk to the people it's not i just tell me just tell me this lady i'm going to marry is my morning clear is my afternoon clear is my evening clear or whatever it is but sir there are principles to work with women i don't care just tell me god should be able to know our refusal to get knowledge has equated to the strength of satan in our lives he looks mighty because our ignorance gave him the ladder to climb that high are you hearing what i'm saying let me say it again that satan looks mighty in our lives because our ignorance provided the ladder for him to climb and look so mighty but when you get knowledge brothers and sisters in my little life i've seen the power of knowledge when knowledge is correct and it is applied to the letter that's when you will see how cheap satan is savior he can move a mountain my god is mighty to say he is mighty to say forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave savior savior he can move the mountain my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save upon a time i'm looking for him where is he doctor come i thought he was there do you know once upon a time this gentleman was a naive young gentleman with a desire to become the future of himself is that true he saw an expectation but he was a naive gentleman and all that happened to him in the medical school they didn't change his cloth they didn't change his name they only kept supplying knowledge when the knowledge was enough they took him higher enough they took him higher enough they took him higher one day someone who was a master in that field looked at him and said based on the knowledge you have you deserve a certification to go and practice as a doctor the different as anointed as i am the difference between me and this guy if someone is convulsing i will pray for him because i don't know what else to do is that true all i know in my world is that all wickedness and evil is from satan and so that's exactly what i'll do because that's my knowledge and i will watch somebody who is sick having typhoid fever and i'm shaking around and here comes he already knows that this one if it can be attended to it does not kill so while the mother he said hey help my son the doctor is all right knowledge gives you stability stability fear is a revelation that there is a gap in knowledge panicking over everything you just hear something on your zing hey they are here again just like they said because there's something you do not know are we together now yes you can see him stand and while he's performing whatever he's doing his whole medical activity someone else is there watching and and panicking and he says don't worry and two days he just prescribes a drug oh are you doing this are you coughing are you vomiting oh i see and the person says, help me oh and the person goes to bed and wakes up the next day as if it's a lie and says doctor i'm fine knowledge knowledge is that true that means there is something you can know that will make you go to bed and wake up the next day in shock and surprise there's something you can know about favor the the i believe that all of these miracle alerts and all of this they are they are a statement i told you that a sign is a miracle with a message in it god is saying this is how easy i can change your life if you believe me you see the people coming to testify they are even shy they are surprised themselves 
because he's no respecter of persons are we together tonight we are going to pray and i'm going to pray for the sick very fast very fast we can't continue like this tomorrow we may not it's a miracle service but i don't know if we'll have time to pray for the sick because tomorrow god is going to tear the heavens over this place Aye. hallelujah the anointing oil is already i mean they carried it out. when i saw the jar coming i said please come <laughs> oh come oh come together we'll, we'll cry and speak every kind of mystery in it. <laughs> ah when the woman was saying there is nothing in my house the anointing was hearing the conversation and said so you are ignoring me you gathered me among non-living things and said you don't have anything he said change the vessel and see what i can do the anointing was hearing the conversation are you not told that you have an anointing that can teach in english when things move Huh? when things move uh, living things biology everything you said you, you personify things by giving them life and attributes of humans the oil is a dead thing it is the anointing that makes the oil alive the anointing makes anything alive including a rod that was dead are we together so tonight we are going to pray listen to me let me just give you one truth sit down please just one can i talk about sickness for just five minutes look at me what is it with satan and sickness and diseases please listen i know that there may be a number of people sick now trusting god for healing what if i go to the hospital right now don't feel bad not talking against you that's why the power of god is here if they look at me now and doctor diagnoses me and say young man i just found out that there is a heart palpitation or there is a hole in your heart or there is a tumor in your brain correct or there is a fibroid somewhere some kind of malignant growth blocking your tubes or whatever what exactly is satan achieving with this what is it with satan and the bodies of men what is he looking for i will tell you if you don't know this you will not see the need for the healing ministry the healing ministry is not just a validation that a man is anointed there are many other ways to validate that a man is anointed jesus was very ruthless about healing the healing ministry is not just some showmanship of testimony to show that a man is a good evangelist or apostle or prophet or whatever no you see remember our our teaching on the the serpent the seed right the serpent and the woman that satan knows that there is a law right it's called the law of territory that you can only be allowed to stay in a territory if you have the requisite demands of that territory i give you an instance if i throw you inside water now you may be able to swim but not forever because that is not your habitation of existence so your design was not made that way but if i throw a fish a fish can stay there forever a man can fly in the air but not indefinite he has to come down even if the plane does not spoil something will happen to his health that pressure gradient will affect him eventually are we together now so we now see that on earth as a human being god's system for functioning on earth is that your spirit must have a body that was built before it becomes legal are we together so if there is no body your spirit is an illegal occupant it may not be legal in the realm of the spirit and in other dimensions of the heavens but on the earth your body your spirit must be hosted in a material body god himself respected this law when he was about to come to the earth a body has thou prepared for me not a spirit the spirit is still the real me but a body had to be prepared are we together now and so christ could come into that body mary's womb did not produce the word of god mary's womb produced a coat a physical body children are heritage from the lord but they need a body is that true they need a body so here's what satan knows that for as long as there are many bodies it means that there are many spirits that can be hosted in those bodies that have wills and can choose to serve god and can choose to advance the kingdom are you seeing 
the conspiracy of darkness in trying to create the system of clothing and the rest as wonderful as they are eventually they are antichrist systems in an attempt to to clone different bodies so that these demons remember the demons we have been talking about i hope you know those demons are still looking for bodies till today so they are coming up with a system to make robots and educate the robots to be so intelligent but without spirit so that a demon spirit can come into it there are films like that you watch them where scientists try to make all kinds of robots then they invoke through a central machine a spirit is not acting that's satan's agenda but meanwhile there is a level of health that your body must assume for your spirit to safely stay there you know your body is a house god said it is a temple demon said it is a house so we know that both god and satan agree that this body is a house are we together now and so satan tries to inflict all kinds of damages there is a damage that can happen to my body it will break the body so much the spirit will be will have to leave we call that death a separation are we together every sickness is the first step towards death every if i am sick i am closer to death being sick than i am alive so the ultimate goal of sickness is not to bring you down so you'll be fine tomorrow the ultimate goal of sickness is to start initiating the process of death in your life in hope that it will continue that's why doctors are a real blessing those who work in the anointing hate doctors we love doctors here we have a lot of them because we realize that it would take more than a man of god this damage that has been done by hell will require people who keep standing because even the doctors themselves believe in miracles they don't talk to the drugs they just administer it the drug itself the system of its operation is a mystery that only god can tell so medicine itself is a miracle if you go to the hospital you attended a miracle service because something in that hospital is beyond the knowledge of the doctor are we together so satan wants to afflict me imagine that i came up now and i'm coughing i'm coughing blood think of what it would do to your faith one two think of what it would do to the to kingdom advance are we together think of what it would do so satan wants it it's a statement god you are not you are not all that you say and i'm using your highest creation to mock you the healing ministry proves the lordship of jesus in a very significant way the healing ministry does not just prove the strength of the man of god it's a testament of the dominion power of god doctors understand this the next time you are injecting somebody don't just say are you recovering expect something to flow through your contact with that syringe into the person that accelerates the process so tonight hear me if there is any sickness in your body it's a sign that satan desires to kill you it's not a sign that what he, he desires is proof it is the first stage to begin to deteriorate you there are people who are sick but you go to the hospital and they tell you there is nothing wrong that's satan for you a few days ago a lady brought me brought me um a photo of someone i think she's here just a little boy ajimi little boy on the leg and within months this had rotten if she, if they turn the other leg you see the bones physical bones the flesh had eaten is that a boil is that how you know that boils work another life attaching itself to your body behold i give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy he says and nothing shall by any means hurt you how god anointed jesus of nazareth chapter 10 verse 38 with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good healing all they that were sick oppressed sickness is an oppression 
if you accommodate it the devil will kill you with that sickness everywhere Jesus saw sick people and they were serious enough about their healing think of what happened to the woman with the issue of blood imagine you were the one that married her and she was your wife 12 years of pain watching your wife every day and here comes Jesus imagine the woman who had been bound for 18 years imagine what would happen to her family life the healing ministry is an end time ministry it's not for healing evangelists it's not for apostles is part of the tools that make us demonstrators of the reality of the life and power of God the power of God must be demonstrated upon his highest creation not just plants and animals and tonight in the name of Jesus Christ I'm trusting the Lord that there are people here who will wave goodbye do you know what God is going to do? God is going to turn your own body into a volcano and no devil, no spirit. The same way they leave deserts in peace. That's how they will have to walk out of your body in peace. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. exposition of your area of ignorance Lord reveal to me what do I need to know what do I need to know to take me to the next dimension in the name of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere lift your voice and begin to pray expose my area of ignorance Expose my area of ignorance. Expose my area of ignorance. Expose my area of ignorance. Financial ignorance. Shekata <laughs> hallelujah i like you to prophesy to yourself and say every area of my life where satan has taken advantage of me by the power of knowledge i declare that your victory in that area is broken lift your voice and pray every area may be your finances may be your spiritual life may be in the area of growth Every ministry, every area where Satan has taken advantage in the name of Jesus, by the power of Shakata, <laughs> <laughs> 
Say in the name of Jesus. One more time in the name of Jesus. Father, open my eyes to the revelations required for the results I desire. Say it again, Father. Father, open my eyes, open my eyes to, the to the revelation of the truths, of the, truth, the, the information that are required for the results that I desire. Open your mouth and pray. Every result has a demand. Every result has a light requirement. Every result I desire. There is something I must know. There is something I must do. Hallelujah. One of the benefits, listen to me, of the word of God is that it can be sent on Aaron. He said he sent forth his word like a messenger. And he says his word he led them. Listen carefully. He sent forth his word. He sent it. He didn't speak it. He didn't say he spoke forth. He sent forth his word. I can be talking to you, but I can say, go and help me do something. He sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them from all their destruction. Please, let me tell you something. We are just going to pray one prayer and I'm going to pray for the sick. Demons are responsible for infirmities. Don't confuse it. Are we together now? There are families tied down with all kinds of plagues, patterns. Father stroke, mother stroke, firstborn stroke, first lady daughter stroke. What kind of devil is that? I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and tell the Lord what must live your life this night. The anointing to make it go is available. Lord, this genotype issue, Lord, this pain, this migraine, pray, Hallelujah. You must believe this. You are barren here tonight. You must be ready to take in now. You don't take in when you meet your husband. Meeting your husband gives the baby a body. You take in when the word of God gets to you. Be it unto me. Joseph was not there. Let's, let's agree with God for God's sake tonight and frustrate certain medical reports that only God, only God can take away. Are we together now? Lord, I'm ready to receive my healing. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, 
As I pray for you and the power of God touches you, there are some of you, you will be surprised at what will happen to you right now. While we finish praying, I'm going to give you an opportunity to check yourself. Now listen please, Osha's protocol, just coordinate so we don't have people roaming around. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, are we together? I want you to make your way to the front. Let there be people at, at different points, just stationed. And we'll have a way of receiving some of them here. Jimmy, you help me. And then we'll see how we can take a few testimonies to disgrace the devil tonight. We may not be able to take all. But tonight, we want to give room to the God that can step in and rubbish the works of Satan. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? This is very, very important. I want to pray for you now already people have been healed some of you as you came you found out don't be afraid i'm going to pray for you bring the lady that the angel of the lord is going to touch outside with a loud shout bring her just let me do my thing now i'm ministering by the spirit of prophecy i'm going to pray for the sick please let me have that lady quickly i want to pray for her it's a sign that god is giving to pray for the sick we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear you. i see the rain of your love I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain of Jesus Christ you see God does these things you know that this is a ministry of signs and wonders and God does these things as a message praise the Lord the Lord is setting this lady's family free I see oppression I command that spirit it's time to go let her go in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and for you I take this that the devil has put in your stomach in the name of Jesus every planting that is not of the lord in the name of jesus it leaves now lay one hand where you are trusting god for healing quickly lay one hand where you are trusting god for healing if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest inside and outside please expect a miracle right now expect a miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my God in the name of Jesus Christ I take authority over the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus I command every devil of sickness every devil of sickness come out of their bodies now 
in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of infirmity I take authority over you right now I take authority over you right now every spirit of infirmity within this vicinity I take authority over you in the name of Jesus every spirit of infirmity in their lives by covenant in their lives by disobedience in their lives by ignorance I take authority over you right now right now I declare be healed in the name of Jesus I send the healing power of Jesus like a drug into your body I command cleansing right now in the name of Jesus I command healing right now in the name of Jesus I command healing in the name of Jesus something is happening to you a chest condition is being healed right now in the name of Jesus several chest conditions as a matter of fact right now something is leaving your chest you will feel like fire just going like this and you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ I see an eye condition the Lord is healing an eye condition in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone with a tooth problem you have your molars like severe pain I don't know if it's like hole in the teeth right now that hole closes now in the name of Jesus I close that hole now in the name of Jesus Christ lower abdominal pain I'm seeing several ladies with lower abdominal pain I'm seeing like fire leaving me to all of those ladies in the name of Jesus lower abdominal pain be healed right now be healed right now I'm seeing a lady right from the last three like three weeks you have been bleeding severely whether you're on your menstrual cycle or not severe bleeding right now the power of God is coming upon you coming upon you now coming upon you now and is living completely in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you don't hear well with your right ear you don't hear well with your right ear all of a sudden it opens now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ pile there are at least three people I'm seen with pile I command in the name of Jesus that devil be healed be, be, let them go right now and pile be healed in Jesus name now there is a lady don't be embarrassed I'm seeing you are not a nursing mother yet there are discharges on your breast this is something that is, 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 a, is, is an embarrassing thing the devil has used to mock you the power of God is coming on that lady right now and there is complete healing complete healing I'm seeing someone with a growth in your neck just somewhere here after the prayer you will check it and you will not see that growth again it disappears and leaves in the name of Jesus Christ if there's anyone in this place on a crutch or on a wheelchair when I finish praying throw that cross and stand up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare if there's anyone having any kind of walking aid the moment I finish praying throw it and stand up in the name of Jesus every pain on your limbs anyone with pain on your limbs I command healing right now peptic ulcer be healed right now peptic ulcer be healed right now all forms of hepatitis be healed right now be healed right now SSAS be healed right now be healed right now if there is anyone here with any growth in your body the devil has planted any lump on your breast your body or any part of your your system in the name of Jesus I command that growth to disappear right now I command that growth to disappear right now in the name of Jesus there's there's somebody you have I don't know what problem you have with your nose the Lord is showing me this is something that has affected your ability to smell it has affected your ability to smell after the prayer you will be surprised everything just leaves right now in Jesus name I'm seeing someone with a pain just right here at the arm in the name of Jesus Christ I command that pain to leave right now I command that pain to leave right now I command that pain to leave right now now don't be embarrassed I'm seeing someone 
there is like a severe boil around your private area and this boil has an unusual pain you have treated it again and again and again and it will not go in the name of Jesus I command healing for you right now I command healing for you right now I command healing for you right now someone had a dream and in the dream they used an object and they hit you with it physically when you got up this side madam you are the one I'm talking about you come let me talk to you because immediately I spoke the Lord told me this is a woman come do I know you madam you had a dream is that true they hit you with yes at that time I was pregnant they hit me with something like spear like a spear yes and sir. from that time you've been having that pain yes, till now sir. even the son I gave back to he came out with that pain he came out with that pain too yes. madam you came here for koinonia this is where all things are possible all not some all things are possible hold my hands in the name of Jesus I bring an end to this oppression in the name of Jesus let that devil leave you in the name of Jesus Christ I'm still praying in the mighty name of Jesus I'm seeing um, there is somebody just right here at, at, at this this point of my leg there is severe pain like muscle pull sometimes it holds on you and you cannot even move the Lord is setting you free right now there is somebody your eyes when you look physically it looks like they are putting a rod in front of you like a, a, a little object coming out of you are looking but it's like your eyes one of it is beginning to close and it looks like there is a rod or something like that on your eyes this is what I'm seeing I command that eye to be open right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed overflow one be healed overflow two be healed overflow three be healed our family online be healed and in the main auditorium here be healed in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I want you to check yourself now in the next two minutes many of you will be surprised to see what has happened the moment you see that the hand of God has touched you make your way quickly and come and line up here Lord you reign and you rule over all celebrate Jesus unto you we ascribe all the praise keep coming Lord you reign and you rule over all Jesus a big 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 clap. hallelujah hold on please you should join the queue so that we can hurry up quickly your name your testimony just bring them here quickly so that okay go ahead um, my name is joy I'm can we have them up here is it possible will it take time okay quickly just a few minutes okay my name is joy i've been having this toothache for months and toothache yes sir. and then when you mentioned the toothache as in it gives me headache and then that moment I could not feel the head completely. completely it's gone right now any pain around your tooth in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord yes please 
Praise God. My name is Please Oluwa Lope Okuleye. Mm -hmm. I've been healed. I've been yes, suffering someone from be ulcer. That maybe from the past alpha. four years to night, yes. I received my healing. And I stood here for my mom. She's having fibroid. I believe she's healed tonight. In, In the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please, quickly. Oh, no. Walk. Any pain. Any pain. Give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. Could not work well. And the Lord is healing her. In the name of Jesus. Perfection. Perfection of that, that area in Jesus' name. Quickly. Miracles. Miracles. The Lord is doing great miracles. That's a sign that everything that has not been corrected in your life. Tonight my God is correcting it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Will you come and change my destiny? My destiny today. Come and change my destiny. My destiny today. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is of witchcraft over your life is broken forever in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you yes please apostle this is partial blindness healed by the hand of the Lord tonight what happened to him uh, last year I had a problem with this and your serious eye. pain okay and then I went to the hospital eye center in Kaduna the doctor confirmed that I can no longer see with this eye oh you went to eye center in Kaduna yes. and the doctors confirmed that you will not be able to use the eye to see again. Yes. What happened tonight? As the prayer was going on. The eyes open. I, yes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Close the one you can see with. Close the one you could see with before. Follow me. Just follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Are you seeing? Just follow me. Be careful. Can you see me? Follow me. Look at. Completely blind. Could not see with this one. Follow me. If you can see me, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, sir, I prophesy to you that not this is a sign that every other thing that has been closed in your life, my God is opening it right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Go ahead. Yes, please. For over a month, I can't see with these eyes. You can't see very well yes, with these eyes. Yes, then the eyes should be closing and be growing small. My God. I went to Shika, they give me drugs, my HOD prays. Sometimes I cannot even open my eyes. Sometimes if I'm opening water, then when the apostle was like saying, the Lord is turning to somebody's right eye. And instantly if I close my eyes and teaching me, the ease just stop. I really want to bless Completely. the name of the Lord. That devil leaves you forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Call down from overflow three. Oh, the lady from overflow three. Your mother. Did you call her? You called her. What happened? She is in my healing. Look at this. Where is she? Where's your mother? She's in Kano. She's in Kano. And then what happened? As in, she has pipe problem. We are going to see Oh, she has pile. Yeah, we are going to see this hospital. They say there's, there's nothing wrong with her. She's completely wet. And she used her blood, blood used to flow every day. Every My day. God, look at this. And you call her right now. She's very needy. completely <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. The God who can leave Zaria to Kano to heal a woman. May he go to everyone's family and bring supernatural healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Sometimes last year, December, I slept one night and I woke up around past one and I was not able to sleep because I was having issues with my hair. My hair, was, my hair started paining me. Then I slept up the following morning, I woke up and my hair started falling off. I couldn't control it. I went to the saloon to, make, to retouch it and stretch to see. Even at that point, the hair all just went. I had to just cut my hair. And after cutting my hair, my mom prayed because I could I refused to tell her concerning the dream that I had. Because if I should tell her, she would start panicking. So 
after that I prayed and I anointed my hair and after since then my hair has become stronger and normal can you imagine this is the hair the hair is falling off every devil in the name of Jesus the hair of a woman is a glory I command restoration for your hair in she Jesus. has had hair problem for some days now hair problem yes, which sir. of the ear yeah, I've what? been having severe pain and severe pain. Yes, and yesterday it shot completely. It shot completely. Yes. And right now it's right open. Right now it's open. Put your no hand. Pain, no Put pain. your hand there. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! My name is Patricia Daladi. Apostle made mention of the you have problem with your one of the sense organs. I was the one the nose. I couldn't smell. Yeah, you, you said could, could not smell. You couldn't smell. How long? For 13 years now. For how long? 13 years. 13 years. Look she at, couldn't smell. Look at this. And right now, there's perfume on my hands. Can you smell? Look at this. You can smell this now. Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. Hey. My trust is in you. Ladies and gentlemen, this lady could not smell. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Breathe in. Breathe in. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus, I release the life and the power of God to your body. It's over forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Go ahead. Very unusual menstrual pain for 10 years. For 10 years. Yes, sir. Let me tell you this. We have to pray for our sisters over this demonic thing because it's getting popular and many of our sisters are even believing that's how it will be. It's a wicked spirit. Don't believe it. It is the devil of darkness. And in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that this has been your experience, I pray by the power of the God I serve that from tonight, that experience lives your life forever. When the pain comes, it will paralyze her legs. She will be able to move. And she had she came here with that same pain. You came here with that same pain. Yes, and right now, what happened to you? I'm okay. I can Completely yes, sir. free. Yes, sir. Free forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God she was you. bathing Christmas Day of 2015. Water entered her ear. And she has not been able to hear well since then. But as you prayed, her ear popped open. That's how you know it's the devil. Well. That's how you know it's the devil. That you are bathing and water enters your ear, and then that's the end of it. And I've been suffering from typhoid for the past eight years. I came here very weak, but now I'm for the past what? Typhoid for eight years. She came very weak, but now she's strong. You didn't go to the hospital. I've been going. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. Kai, name of Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to your ears, perfection, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Sir, um, this woman had a dream in December, and then she saw uh, somebody in her dream, and they told her this is facial cancer, and she this woke This is what? Facial cancer. Cancer of the face? Of the face. Is there something like that? Ah. And then she woke up and began to feel the symptoms. Oh, and the pains of the person she saw in the dream physically physically right now all the pain gone anyone that appeared to anyone in the dream and planted anything in your body tonight may it go back to that devil in the name of jesus may it go back to that devil in the name of jesus may it go back to that devil in the name of jesus go ahead Okay, lift your hands now, I'll pray for you. That's why I took out time to explain this to you. In the name of Jesus, I command the hand of God to come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every force of sickness in your body, every force of infirmity over your body, it lives now and forever in the name of Jesus. The strength to push through tonight and pray in the night until tomorrow in the afternoon when we will be breaking i release that strength to you right now in the name of jesus many of you will have dreams tonight and in those dreams you will see strange victories 
and you will get up in the morning with a physical manifestation of those victories in the name of jesus christ i release those dreams in the realm of the spirit i command that they are captured in your experience tonight in the name of jesus christ psalm 66 verse 3 how awe inspiring are your ways oh lord he said through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves there are many believers who are born again now watch this i want to tell you how satan brings havoc to certain people quickly isaiah to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me isaiah 49 i won't go back verse 29 to the way i used to be before your presence verse 24 sorry isaiah 49 verse 24 everyone read one to read shall the prey be taken from the mighty this is a question or the word hold on he didn't say the captive he used an interesting word what was the word lawful legal legitimate this is a question a prophet of god is asking he says shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered 25 he said but thus saith the lord even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will contend with him that contend with you and i will save your children 26 26 and i will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that i am the lord thy god thy savior thy redeemer the mighty one of jacob 27 okay praise god many scriptures are in my head but did you get the picture now shall the lawful captives hold on who is a lawful captives brothers and sisters look at me and let me teach you something that will set you free tonight are you listening to me now i'm not a preacher of deliverance or satan or curses and all of this but i need you to know i read something interesting in the bible he said as for me and who say it as for me and who they didn't call every member of the house to ask him are you interested in following god no are you interested in following god somebody represented the family and said on behalf of myself and every man that is under my covering we will serve the lord that means somebody can stand and say on behalf of myself and whoever is under my covenant i would i will, I will sacrifice to this devil hold on you can get born again your salvation is personal not territorial is personal not territorial so although you are born again you are filled with the holy spirit on legal grounds certain spirits have been committed to find expression and in the realm of the spirit everything happens on legal grounds hallelujah this is why although people are born again certain territories are associated with certain demonic manifestations hallelujah when you say you come from kogi people just say ah temperous people when you come from kaduna they say all these people they are men don't do this when you come from this they say ah these people drink why do they associate territories with habits the demons in the man in gadara gadara was the name of a city and that man was the the a place of residence for those demons they would go and oppress people and come back to the man that's why he stayed in caves alone because there were already two men inside that cave a legion hallelujah when jesus was about to come they knew and they began to react they were causing the boisterous storm and when jesus calmed the sea 
Nobody gave the man information that Jesus was coming. But as soon as Jesus got to the other side, the madman was the first. Together with the legions of demons under that territory, they came to negotiate and say, Jesus Christ, we are pleading with you. Just, um, we have stayed in this territory for long. And even though you cast us out of the man, let's remain in the territory. So you see a man and a woman, lovely people, they get married. And another thing I need to tell you about demons is, demons can pacify themselves in the soul of a man for years and decades until the time of manifestation. Oh, that is possible. So your mother marries your father and she sees someone else and says, this is not the man I married. Hallelujah. And your mother begins to jeez you and say, when we're going out, your daddy loved me. He used to carry me, even in public. I asked him, I said, wouldn't you be ashamed? He said, for you, what can I not do? But now, now, the way you know that he's there with his wife is you hear a slap. Ah, 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 come and help me. And you see the man fuming. And then later he will calm down as if he's not the one. To the way it used to be before your presence. So you see a man of God who is anointed, raising crutches. But when he gets angry, he can kill you with his temper. He's anointed. He's born again. But there are lawful captives. It takes authority in the spirit. It takes, listen, this one is not demon possession. Because you are born again. A believer cannot be possessed. However, you can be influenced from the realm of your mind and soul. You can be influenced such that although you are born again, you are seeing yourself carrying out the agenda of another. Ask Paul. Paul said, with my body, my spirit, I serve God. But in my body, I see another law walking. So that the things I want to do, this is the apostle speaking. I don't find myself doing it. The things I don't want to do. There are many people who are, there are men of God suffering from lust and masturbation and all. They can't help it. They are married. They thought the remedy was marriage. They slept with their wife every day. They are still not satisfied. It's a spirit. 98% of issues of barrenness, I tell you the truth, under God. It doesn't matter what form it appeared in. Is the manifestation of these demons and these devils. Why? See, we come from an African culture. Don't compare us with the United States. They are about 250 years old. A generation paid the price. They had founding fathers who entered covenants on behalf of the land. So, although they are perverse now, they are still lawfully blessed. Are you seeing it? Individually, they are perverting God. But on account of the legal access that was given to God on behalf of that territory, they still live. What did we inherit? Help me, what did we inherit in Africa? What did your grandfathers do before they died? They left us with all kinds of demonic things. And hear me, the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. Hold on. This is where a lot of people just say, yes, I claim it, but look at their lives. Look at their lives. We are not honest and open to confront things in churches because no man wants to be associated with anything messy. You just want to be posh and nice. Unfortunately, let me tell you, if we continue like this, the devil will eat up God's people and they will not know what is the cause. Hallelujah. Sicknesses you cannot explain. You get up and they say you are SS. I don't believe all those things, first and foremost. I honestly don't believe them. I believe in medical people. I believe that if we get to heaven, there will be a special section where God will bless doctors. One of our ladies in worship team gave birth on Wednesday. Hallelujah. We are very happy. She gave birth to a bouncing baby boy like the Hebrew women. So I went there to go and pray for the child. When I got to the labor, they sin. I said, God will punish every child that insults his mother. 
Hallelujah. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I thought he was blanket. They said, that's the baby. I said, where? Hallelujah. I told myself I was going to be free from all of these things. My neighbor had been oppressed. This happened weeks ago. Oppressed with all kinds of things. And one day I got angry. I called her. I said, come. Immediately she stepped into my room. I was looking at her. Suddenly, I now saw the spirit. You see, light is a dangerous thing in the spirit. Suddenly, the woman began to manifest and say all kinds of things. And now I prayed for her and that was it. The very next day, her brother from London called and said, I cannot tell what is wrong. I can't sleep. Come and take to so her mouth. Start business. Book flight for her to and fro. Do you know the devil is behind the predicaments of many families? But we laugh about it. We come to church. By this seed, I provoke the heavens. Wonderful. But if that's all you are going to do, I assure you, there's real trouble waiting. I know many people will not like me. It's not today. I've, 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 I'm tired of all of these things. But let me tell you the truth. You see, I vow that I must teach God's people the truth and set them free. I pray for people every day. Every day. This is not something I read in Bible college. This is a pragmatic experience. I have prayed for preachers and men of God, tongue-talking, filled with the Holy Ghost. A great man of God came to introduce his fiance to me. When they came, happily, he came and I was just praying for him that God would bless him. The next thing, wonderful, lovely lady. Just prayed for her and there, the demons began to shout. Say, why have you come to disturb us? Called my name Joshua Selman. I said, that's right, Jesus I know. Paul I know. Add me to that list. You better do so. Come on now. If your life does not threaten darkness, you are not born again. Hallelujah. And I prayed for the lady. And the demon spirit was shouting and saying the plan was to keep quiet until they put that ring and they get married. Said, well, that's your cup of tea. Please go out. See, demon spirits don't just leave. 90% of the people I pray for, you hear the demon spirit say she is mine, or he is mine, or they are mine. Lawful captives. They are trying to speak scripture to you, but then you let them know that this is Good Friday. Come on. This was the Friday Jesus said it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. I believe it. Satan will not just live until you let him live. When the spirit that is sponsoring that growth or that cancer is taken away, it will die. Simple and straight. When the spirit holding that womb gives way, it's just that many people are not humble enough. Especially for women of God. It takes a lot of humility, you see. When I saw that there was something wrong in my life, I didn't keep quiet and say, great man of God. Uh -uh. I told myself, Satan, you've had enough. Hallelujah. One day I heard that my sister carried axe and followed my brother. I said, no way. What did I say? Say it again. No way. And then you do something about it. Because that's how one day a wife will carry axe. You say, I've been watching you. A nice and soft lady. You even gave her a name because she's soft. Men of God like healing. Oh, just be healed. And then people fall down. The fact that someone fell down did not mean that he got healed. It's just that many people cannot talk. Because if you talk, they say, where is your faith? Look, let me tell you something. Faith is not foolishness. The end of faith is manifestation. They've been praying for you for five years. Nothing has happened. 
the people say just believe things are working you better find out what is wrong you are kicking your car for one week it didn't on you say this car you are on go and call the mechanic something's wrong with that car and and have sense enough to fix the car and don't delay your life it is an act of faith to go and call the mechanic because you are tired of the condition of that car if i didn't do anything about my life i don't know what would have happened many of you are here your families are nice people many people who are prayed for here sometimes they don't even know i wish we had time i would have ministered to everybody one by one but miracle services cannot afford that our time is very short nobody's married in your family all the sisters no marriage they are fine they are virtuous all the things we've taught they have it a lady came one time to come and see me for prayers when i had the lady talking suddenly i began to sense the power of god leaving my body i knew something was wrong i told her all right my dear come as soon as she came a beautiful lady opens the door the next thing I saw it, an old woman of maybe about 150 years entering. That's what I saw. She sat down and I just calmed down. I was saying, God, what is all this nonsense now? And the lady was talking to me and crying from one relationship to the other. Some, even as far as going to do introduction, they've done everything. God will just say, I'm not doing. Why? Don't ask me questions. I'm not doing. Then what happened? When they tell us, they say, provoke with a seed. And the demons help you hold the seed. <laughs> now, I believe in the place of seed faith. I believe it. Maybe we'll do it this night. I believe it. Hallelujah. A miracle happened in CGC. There's a man that teaches, I think he gave testimony one day. The wife, the baby was fine. Normal. The next thing they said, I don't know the name of all these ladies thing. I thank God I don't know it. They just said something is wrong, Sean, that um, if they don't handle it well, whatever, these things will not go well. That's all I know. But I know Jesus was doing good. So if I'm representing him, I should do good. I told the man, I said, Wes, call your phone. Let's speak to that baby. You can't be stubborn from the womb. The Bible says John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Behave! Behave. You are not born yet. You started giving your family members headache. And I spoke to that child. I said, turn to your normal position and come out the way God ordained a child to come out. This is not man of God. This is kingdom authority displayed with understanding. Let me tell you how you will know that there are legal operations of demons in your life. When you have prayed about certain things and fasted about it, come as a family and pray. There are some people that have prayed dry. Dry. A lady is praying against lust. She's on seven days dry fasting. The sixth day she's sleeping with somebody. You need help. Are you listening to me? And the Bible says then he gave gifts to the body. You see why some people are called gifts. They are not just called gifts because of bragging. That's why God will punish any man of God he gave an anointing. And he's just using it to do every kind of merchandise. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Before your presence came and changed me. Let's round up quickly. So what is our mandate? Luke 10, 19. I love miracle services, I'm telling you. Luke 10, 19. Are you there? Let's read. One to read. Behold, hold on. See, conceive this as a reality in your spirit. Settle it that this is not a lie from God. Behold, I give unto you to tread upon serpents that's what many of you see in your dreams there is a reason god said to tread upon serpents 
and scorpions and over how many how many all the power of the enemy it says and nothing that's why i cast out devils and sleep like a baby nothing shall by any means hurt you this is another wrong erroneous teaching that people teach the same man of god when you pray have some reinforcement wake up by 12 o'clock please go and sleep for god's sake if you had enough authority to cast out the devils what suddenly happened to the authority this is fear another teaching again is this look up please i now told you the concept of calling your father or your mother or your brothers and sisters witches is because of men of god are you listening to me and because of erroneous teachings these men of god or these prophets they see from the realm of the spirit these demonic manifestations i'm talking about either as a result of legal stronghold the next thing they say young lady your mother is a witch either because they saw some demonic things the bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood the spirit of christ does not create controversy in homes many prophets have come to make certain men leave their wives after three or five children say the only solution is to leave and some of our parents our families were divorced today because of a so-called revelation from prophets or deliverance people this is wrong the spirit of christ brings love every gift that comes from god every good and perfect gift the bible says comes from above hallelujah so i can look at this sister now and see an oppression of darkness or sometimes well i don't talk to demons sometimes they don't just keep quiet hallelujah jesus said they cried out and sometimes they are just shouting Oh, it's my mother that did this. And maybe the brother or sister is here. I say, ah, mother. You go back now. Your mother says, come on, darling. How are you? You say, oh, no, no. So you are responsible for my... Calm down. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. While it is true that certain people can make themselves willing agents of darkness, the real battle is between spiritual wickedness. So you were sleeping and you saw your roommate in some kind of way. You just said, man, his roommate, forget to, I won't eat her food again. I won't drink her water again. I won't do anything. Who is teaching you this kind of thing? The Bible does not teach that. It said they shall drink deadly things and it shall not hurt them. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? Go and teach others. Because tonight God will do mighty things. So I give you power. Second scripture. Luke 9 verse 1. We'll hurry up. This is the major work we are doing. Those outside say praise the Lord. Everyone read. Luke 9 verse 1. One to read. Then he called his disciples together. And gave them power and authority. Over who? And to? He gave them authority. I'd like to announce to you today that the Lord has given us authority. Hallelujah. Yes, he gave us authority. Say, I have authority. And Satan will leave. Afflictions will leave. Incurable diseases will leave. And breakthrough will come in the name of Jesus. One more scripture and then we are ready to pray. Mark 16 verse 17. Affect my life, breathe on me as I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me as I look to you for life. And these signs shall not follow cynical people who are asking rubbish questions this night whether or not this is making sense he said this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall that's the first thing you will do as a sign in my name see how the bible deals ruthlessly with satan you are not supposed to keep talking this is the problem i have with deliverance people. everything satan no 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 but we have a ministry to cast him out of our life. Say the enemy has done this. 
Can you look at your life and say, the enemy has done this. I now see the enemy has done this. The enemy has done this havoc for my sister. The enemy has done this. So that you don't pray and miss. And I have good news for you. Over 2,000 years ago, exactly at this time, Jesus hung upon the cross and he made three powerful words. It is. Not it was. Not it will be. It is finished. I like you to prophesy. It is finished. Affliction is finished. Cancer is finished. HIV is finished. Demonic oppression is finished. That's what the Bible says. Listen, you must announce to principalities and powers that I am born again. The blood of Jesus has made way. You are an illegal occupant. And by faith and the authority of the Lord, I will now enforce that which has been finished on the cross. This is the legal basis of victory. It's not just because you fasted or prayed. Fasting does not change God. It changes you. It's faith that moves God. I fast and pray, but your fasting doesn't do anything to God. It positions you to release your faith for results. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The legal basis is that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Not just that the blood of Cain and Abel, but every other ordinance. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to the cross. It's passed. But Satan will refuse until you enforce it by the authority of the Lord Jesus. And this is our job tonight. We have not come to do any new thing. This is what I want to teach you. There's nothing tonight that we are doing that is new. We are only going back to tap the reality from Calvary and make it a present tense reality. This is the Balas gospel of redemption. And one of the greatest persons that has affected my life is the general of God. I cried when he went to be with the Lord. T.L. Osborne. He was one man that demonstrated the reality of the kingdom more than any man I know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Joblessness barrenness, delay, stagnation, mental blockage, sicknesses, you name it. We now know the devil that is in charge. But the Bible says for this purpose, God organized koinonia meeting tonight. For this purpose, that he will annihilate. I vowed unto God, I said, I will never pastor or lead any ministry where there is no demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness. I won't come and teach people about the God who was and say, I remember in 2001, somebody was healed. What is he doing today? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the same January miracle service, the same February miracle service. I bring you good news tonight. The Lord is in the house and is here with his full authority. And how nice it is that today is Good Friday. He went about doing good on a Good Friday. He went about doing today is not called Bad Friday. It's called Good Friday. Rise up on your feet and let's charge ourselves in the spirit for a few minutes. Walk around in the next five minutes and begin to prophesy inside and outside. Come on. Come on, walk round and begin to declare. Satan is behind every sickness, every infirmity. Satan is behind poverty. He's behind delays. But today, by the finished work that is in the name of the Lord Jesus, there will be victory tonight. Rapa kata la basata, ma prakata pragede ba, rapa ta prakese pragede, rakata baladaba. Make sure you are praying. Rapo sho prakete lekoto. Hallelujah. Now listen, those of you inside and outside, we just have one minute to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. You're going to say, 
you're going to pray for yourself and your family and say satan now i know you are responsible and you are going to get out of my life my family my finance my marriage lift your voice and begin to pray you appear as terminal disease but you are a devil of darkness you appear as delay but you are a devil of darkness you appear as barrenness but you are a devil of darkness joblessness whatever tree has not been planted by our father that tree will be uprooted pray say tonight is my night of deliverance is my night of healing is my night of emancipation enough is enough hallelujah now look up please everyone look up so through territorial influences satan can gain grounds over a man's life although he's born again the second way satan gets to influence people is through what i call strongholds of the mind that's why the bible says the moment you get born again the next assignment is to begin to renew your mind because look at me your mindset is like a door in the realm of the spirit it can allow the activities of heaven it can allow the activities of demons are you listening to me so because of wrong teachings or our society we have had mindsets that have become strongholds permanent gateways so even when you pray and minister healing and deliverance what happens the bible says when a demon leaves a man because it is now it does not have a material body to find expression it becomes uneasy after a while what happens it says since i've been legally casted let me now use the mind and it comes back to check the man he finds the house swept clean but empty you have not filled yourself with the word and it gathers seven other demons more than itself and it comes back to the man listen this is the problem i have with many deliverance houses they don't concentrate on people getting born again they don't concentrate on people receiving the word they just concentrate on casting out devils so they now cast out devils are you listening to me in a lady who probably does not believe that sex before marriage is wrong that's a mindset it has become a stronghold is that correct so the demons will leave but her mindset will bring them back listen when believers are set free they must keep their healing they must keep their breakthrough by doing what building fortification that's why we spend three weeks teaching the word so that when you are set free when you are delivered what happened the word of god builds fortification in you that kind of mindset deliverance is by the word so he sends forth his word and his word heals your mind and delivers you it's not enough just to come for miracle service it's important to participate in all of the services because as we teach what happens you build fortification in the spirit then you get to a point like jesus where satan will come and will not find anything of himself then you now become a deliverer to others he said upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the children of jacob shall possess their possession but not until there is a deliverance upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and a spirit of holiness and then what happens people will begin to possess their possessions tonight satan will return some things he stole ah because the bible says when you catch a thief it's in leviticus when you catch a thief he will say i'm sorry no they didn't hear i'm sorry he will restore sevenfold sevenfold is the minimum hallelujah how many of us are ready to take back some things I'm reaping the harvest God promised me. Take back what the devil stole from me. And I rejoice today. For I shall recover it all. Yes, I rejoice today. Hallelujah. Now, before I begin to minister in the anointing, we're going to pray one prayer. 
I want you to be honest and open tonight. Listen, listen, we're a family. I truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free. Listen, you're going to say, Lord, if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life, listen, or my family, I open myself tonight. Let tonight be a separation between me and Egypt forever. I must move forward. You must humble yourself and pray. Are you listening to me? Open your mouth and pray. Everyone. Those outside, pray. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. Time up, Satan, over the lives and the destinies of people. We announce an expiry date for you, which is right now. Tonight is Good Friday. Over our lives, Jesus said it is finished. We believe it. Jesus said it is finished. Oh, hallelujah, he's reading. I'm excited, I'm excited. Someone is walking free tonight. I tell you, a door is open tonight. Pray. Pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. For the spirit of the Lord is here. Spirit have your way. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw, oh yes, oh yes, gates will be lifted. Ancient door, inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata Pro Satali Pariata. De Kaya. Kabam Brastaya. I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen, just one shout. I'd like you to shout it with all your heart. I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together. In the Hebrew, we call this Tehila. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Break it, 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 break it,
and outside. Now according to the unction and he gave us power. I speak to you inside outside territorial spirit I confront you at the count of three you will go you will go. I see a mighty deliverance in this row. One two three go 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 Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now be exposed now be exposed the fire of the Lord outside the fire of his presence be exposed outside the Puerto Rico day no demon stands every affliction go Outside, 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 the power of God is falling. They took the barricade, they get the crash, the caparia. Outside, the power of God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the crowd. Out of her, out of her now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you, fire upon you, 
come out of her now in the name of the Lord Jesus let her go 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 out of her right now out of her out of her come out come out of her come out of her out of her come out of her now thou foul devil I see a snake out of her come out fire upon you fire upon you fire upon you fire upon you come out of her Come out, come out, come out, come out. open up. Therefore, every power I speak by an apostolic unction, every demonic force, you're going to shout Jesus once and the power of God will move across. My God, let your fire move. Are you ready? Those outside. One, two, three. Come out. 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 Come out, come out, get your tota. Come out, come out, come out. Come out of her, come out of her now. Come out of her, come out of her, come out of her, come out, come out. Come out, come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Bring, Bring them in. Bring these girls. Bring that ladies. Bring her. Bring her. Just look. Look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out. 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 Come out. Now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at it. Hold on. Look at a girl 
Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a Look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come. Hello. I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liva, liva, liva. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies. I said come and meet me here. Don't stay there. It's time for the lady to go. 
Someone has someone has a problem. One ear, you feel like there's water, you practically cannot hear very well with it. Who is that person? Who is that person? One ear, you feel like there's water or something. Please, who is that inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly. You, which of them? It will be open right now. Put your hands there. As I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now! You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go! Go! I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before, I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something. Uh, waka inside. But now, not. Look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes? This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had mums. So it affected she had her. what? Mums on her left ear. Mums. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. of the Lord Jesus. Your reign is gone in the name of Jesus. Someone test them. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. You will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing and perfection in the name of Jesus. Now, all those with any heart conditions, all those with any heart conditions, heart condition of whatever kind, please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in a bit. Heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them. Both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Now foul them. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please, can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Can you just step up here, all of you? 
Please, quickly, quickly, I don't want to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain here. Come. Hold on, hold on. I'll pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You wouldn't sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? What happened, but uh, the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Who is Neka? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? Sharp pain. Sharp pain. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Come. She's free. Bless you. Madam, what's wrong with you? My two brothers. Your two brothers. They, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
when I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and we'll start ministering to people. In mass. What's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? But the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. This is a very nice girl. Lo. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. Kaparata <laughs> kaparata balatapai. Repete keposh. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way. And build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you're free. Leave her. You're free. She's free. My dear, 
no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart problem. for a long time out of her right now in Jesus name you must go out come out your exodus out of her life with a loud shout I instruct you to leave now at the count of three one two three Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. altar call before i finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what i'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go i see you in the spirit go come out of her be silent speak no word go out What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Leave her. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. 
Now go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, it will happen. Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. You started by yourself. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. Lay your hands there. Sarkin Salama Salama Have what? Hepatitis. Hepatitis. B. C. C. Yes, sir. Who diagnosed it? In the hospital. You'll be free from it. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Shepa Karata Poko Sofre Teke Balata Bonda. Mabrati Kapos Kosi Belishti. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh yeah. Zerkin Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of no effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama. 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 Very pretty lady, wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> Three. Or I go. Quietly. Quietly. 
You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye-bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It's a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything. When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We're still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we're going to minister. We'll have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have the water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead. Touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you walk when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer request quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleeping. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, 
Come and stand here. Get said to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please, quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Peptic ulcer. Fire upon you right now. Quietly go. Peptic ulcer, you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. You said she will not marry. She wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please, quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh Go! 
your deliverance come your salvation has come it's your time to smile run and come I say run look at what she's doing but those of restoration and prosperity you have cried this lady loves the Lord but she has suffered you have seen you have suffered aha I'm seeing a cake and it's a wedding cake this is what the Lord shows me in the name of the Lord Jesus I release you into this place. where's the lady I asked her to come where's the lady sister look at me Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! 
It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. The prayer requests, please bring them out quickly. If you didn't write prayer, those on Facebook and all our members, please. If you cannot have it, no problem. Hold on. There are two ladies. Please don't be ashamed. Okay? The Lord asked me to call out the case. Don't be ashamed. Okay, three people. You are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no okay. You are suffering from this a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding, and this is yeah, please. We are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why. We are a family of faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference, it's a miracle service. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. Keep looking. Fire upon you. I expose you, foul spirit of darkness. Now, but wedding stops forever. It's a spirit. She has a dream. This is I'm seeing the dream that this lady has now. She has a dream. They are pouring water, and she's standing there. Later, the water becomes a bathroom, and she wakes up and sees. You will look and think she's an irresponsible lady. Some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place. You like talking about people. See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right. When you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells. And he's doing wonders. Sister, I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, I'm speaking to you, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives, aha, come out of her. Now I've seen you, come out of her, foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see, out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out. 
In Jesus' name, right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You're a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You're a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Grento Satilaka Repata Rita Rabata Batoso Pregete Rekata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit? Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you'll be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. With both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. You're a good usher, so you be free. Come out of her! Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch. From today, just look at it. This is demonic. This is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that ye may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said, it is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. This is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can wake up. All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. you in the spirit. Hapa, rata, rakata, parekete ke parata posoto, rabandeke parika, ratosko petalia, regete ke teke teke de belereba, rapatosko prenda, raposko par, reteke teke telekete, rebako paratosko pa, rapaskia, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh yes, you must. Go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. 
I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata, rabete keterete, rabaka barata pa, babriata. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Please be praying on the request. Don't let Satan. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One, two, three. Go. In Jesus' name. Go. Go. In Jesus' name. With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Hmm? Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right we have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus, Rabapa Kopresh Taraba. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. 
answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances. Open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it with all that you have lift your hands something will happen in this place right now for he never sends us alone he leaves us a witness Jesus I want to impart gifts anointings graces help me instrumentalists at the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive spiritual things. Baba Rata, Rababa, Robosha, Rekea, Reko Shata, Rabaria, Paros, Korekata, Mapeto Sodia, Rendekete Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen. Just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just leave them. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move, move. Fire! Fire! 
fire. Let it come like rain. Prophetic experiences. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing, fall, 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 Favor, favor, favor. Let it hit you, let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, baka brata rata, teke ke teke telebo. I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Higher. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. I'd like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages. Barren women receive. Barren women receive. All kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances. Within the next 30 days. Many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit. I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman. Don't be foolish. Within the next 30 days. Lord, confirm your word. If you have sent me. Let the fire come. Listen, this is what I'm doing. I pick you from where you are financially. I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night I set you free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any building project that your parents are in in the name of Jesus within the next seven days let the finance to continue it 
I put it prophetically upon your hands in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs, I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics, receive grace. For your academics, receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's results. I call it excellence. Distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase. Multiply. Advance. Move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We're rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please, everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please, this is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please, package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings for me. Many of you do not know. We don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly. Hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. <laughs> For yourself and family. Hold, just hold it, just hold it. Just keep it hold. Keep it some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that cause. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go! 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 I break the curse. Go! Go! 
Go, go, lift it up. Go, go. I break the curse. Go. It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you package something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. Bakareka. Rekepa. Raposata. I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Paretaka kaparoto pretelika. Father, these hands that are lifted, please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity I release it upon your life right now I release it upon your life right now creativity beyond your imagination visions of ideas destiny help us for your family members those who need jobs take jobs those who need business ideas receive it those whose business are dying I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We are soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait except they have something serious do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities they keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you i promise you you will never be the same hallelujah now it's not just enough to be prayed for to be healed to be released you must grow in the word i can't tell you this enough there are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want you won't grow that way you must be taught the word subject yourself to the teaching of the word the bible says i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance he said, according as his divine power has given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. There's no shortcut to greatness. There's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God. Everyone, please stand up. Right now, I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling. All those people that I told them it's time to get born again, now it's your time to run out and come out here. 
everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this is stand, please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside Jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside God is calling you leave your friend come thank you Jesus Koinonia celebrate them this is the biggest miracle come God bless you bless you sister bless you my brother don't stop God bless you you need Jesus is the fountain of life he's the one we represent here he's the one we exalt there is only one name not any man of God not Bishop Stan not Pastor Jakes not Joshua Selman Jesus and him alone I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind Jesus is calling you Jesus is calling you thank you sister thank you sister hallelujah now look at me all of you who have come here God bless you thank you so much for coming I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus name this is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very very loud say after me Lord Jesus it's not a poem say Lord Jesus I love you I believe you died for me I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself today I make Jesus Lord of my life I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm born again the life of God is in me and Satan will go go was he praying and what, what was I saying and Satan will live my life forever in the name of Jesus come out of her she's making Jesus Lord of her life you're a foul spirit out out you're a wicked spirit go this is this is authentic born again authentic one that comes with a dramatic change many of you got born again you were laughing from the beginning to the end you don't even know what happened to you this is what they call old time religion born again the one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles holy spirit come and live in me from today i am yours in the name of jesus i'm a child of god i break free from addictions in the name of jesus christ amen i appreciate them look at me brothers and sisters thank you so much this is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make jesus lord of your life now i'd like you to just follow the ushers they will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of god never forget this day from today you're going forward ever and backward never in jesus name god bless you please appreciate them pastor jakes is meeting with you tomorrow by by 5 p.m chapel premises please ushers make sure you remind them tomorrow 5 p.m hallelujah now if you're worshiping with us for the first time inside and outside we're out of time please i'd like you to run and come out quickly we want to bless you appreciate them thank you for coming thank you confidence is come out here you'll be the first to receive the blessing in the name of jesus come out of her she's a visitor but you must leave don't go back the same way. hallelujah when we say we have a blessing we're not joking we really mean it come quickly thank you for coming thank you brothers and sisters for coming this is koinonia today happens to be our miracle service we meet here every friday hallelujah i assure you you will never be the same the lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray that he will help you i pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ
we are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.